uh, coming up to the mighty San Gabriel River, which has been channelized in 1938 and on by the Army Corps of Engineers. Uh, prior to that, it was a soft bottom river. And there was a Pacific Electric Bridge that went across to the Long Beach Peninsula. And this was a part of the, that great system. And there we see the channelized river. You know, it's, it's too bad. It's not as much of a habitat. But so we're skirting the San Gabriel River. This river uh, goes all the way up to the San Gabriel Mountains. And there's actually a bike path which goes all the way up to uh, Whittier. This property across the street there is the so-called Selick property, which was a wetland which was filled in to do the, uh, this, this little shopping center. But it was also a former refinery, to be fair. Um, and over here we see a former least term preserve, the so-called Orchard property, which is now a, um, I guess, a pumpkin patch or something like that, and it used for Basically, they're, they spray it every year to kill the night of vegetation, and they're essentially going to uh, destroy it enough so that they can build on it without being uh, saying that they're destroying habitat. The landowner on that former least term reserve allegedly paid children uh, to use blankets to catch the least terns and kill them when they tried to nest there, and that's why they were able to do that, to destroy that piece of property. That's part of the Bixby uh, land holdings, I believe. I'm just going to give some idea of what it's like to drive an electric car, and you know, it's it's really satisfying. You know, not just to know that you're not burning gas, but it gives you this smooth feeling of acceleration. There, there's not a lot of little loose parts going all over the place. Nothing knocking. The power of takeoff is smooth, like an airplane. It's just a, a wonderful feeling of acceleration, and the uh, faster you can accelerate the more and the smoother it is the more like an airplane it is airplane pilots liked the ev1 because it gave them the feeling that they were any measurable power when they took off and yet another gas station um, there were four gas stations on this corner at one time but due to vertical integration the gas company the oil companies are closing down their gas station operations and concentrating them into fewer and fewer hands they used to be able to make it, as a, as a gas station operator, used to be able to make it as, on 30,000 gallons a month. Now you have to push 200,000 gallons a month or more through one of those automated stations because the, the margins are much lower and the oil companies just want to force the independence out of business. And these wetlands here were preserved mainly because they were oil properties. Now they're up for contention, the Los Cerritos wetlands, the former estuary of the San Gabriel River and we see over there steam plants which should not exist because those should be we should have solar systems on everybody's house but instead we have the largest in complex of steam plants in California the Los Alamitos generating complex 16 generators with over 4,000 megawatts of power including DWP, AES and other operations here formerly Southern California Edison see those big tanks used to be oil these have all been converted to natural gas, but they have not in general been upgraded to the most efficient natural gas plants. They're still the ones through cooling. And across the way we see the wetlands that they would dearly love to make into commercial property. And the first, the first nail in the coffin of this wetlands is intended to be a design center which they are planning to build right over here, a big box Home Depot store right in this spot where this tank is and you can maybe see the sign is through those bushes 